Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Gitturi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a Kubernetes cluster on Google Cloud. So, here you can see this is my Google Cloud console. So, first, let's navigate to Kubernetes engine and directly select your clusters. So, here you can see currently we don't have any of the Kubernetes clusters. So, let's create a Kubernetes cluster. So, directly select here create. And when we are going to create a Kubernetes cluster on Google Cloud, here it will display two different options. One is autopilot cluster and one is standard cluster. So if you select your autopilot cluster, by default it will create a Kubernetes cluster for you. Okay. So if you want to create a standard cluster with your uh, standard inputs, you can directly select your switch to standard cluster. Okay. Directly select your switch to standard cluster. So in this video, I'm going to create a standard cluster. Okay. So first we need to give the cluster name. So let's give the name like test Kubernetes cluster. So let's give the name like this. So let's come down. So location type here I'm going to select zonal and here I'm going to create under US Central 1C. Okay. So directly come down. So everything I'm going to leave this default and fleet registration I'm going to leave this default and the default pool. So here a uh, node pool name I'm going to give default pool and here a uh, number of nodes. Okay. So I want to create with five nodes. So if you want to create with three nodes, you can directly select here three. So if you want to create with two nodes, you can directly select here two. So in this video, I'm going to create with five nodes. So number of nodes is five I'm giving. So if you want to enable autoscaler cluster autoscaler, you can directly enable this cluster autoscaler. Okay. So for, for this video, I'm not going to enable this cluster autoscaler. So I'm going to disable this. So I'm going to leave this everything default and when it comes to nodes. So here we need to select uh, node configurations like uh, machine configurations. Okay. So here for node for each node, I'm going to create with E2 and here I'm going with E2 medium. So E2 medium comes with two CPUs and four GB of memory. So each node, it will create with two CPUs and four GB of memory. Okay. So boot disk type I'm going with balanced persistent disk. Okay. So disk uh, boot disk size uh, for each node I'm giving 10 GB. Okay. Each node it will create with two CPUs and four GB of memory and with 10 GB of storage. Okay. So if you want to increase to 20 or else if you want to increase to 30, you can increase that is up to your wish. So for this video, I'm going to give 10. So 10 is the default storage guys. So if you select here 9, it will not create, it will throw an error. So default storage is 10. Okay. So each node, it will create with two CPUs and four GB of memory. And it was having for every node, it will be having 10 GB of storage. Okay. So now I'm going to leave this everything default. And here in networking, let's leave this default networking and security and metadata and automation. Let's leave this everything by default. And directly jump on to networking. So in networking, let's come down. So previously I created a custom VPC. So let me open that VPC. So VPC network. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. So here you can see public VPC. So previously I created a VPC with one subnet. So I'm going to select that uh, VPC, which is public VPC and Inside this VPC, we have one subnet which is public subnet. So let me open this and let me open this subnets. So here you can see public subnet. So I'm going to select this public subnet. So everything let's leave this uh, by default. So here again, security, backup plan, metadata and futures. Let's leave this everything by default and let's directly select here create. So now it takes uh, nearly Five to ten minutes to create this Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so let's select your clusters. So here you can see it is going to create a Kubernetes cluster for us with five nodes. Okay, so each node it will create with two CPUs and four GB of memory and with ten GB of storage. Okay, so directly open this. So here you can see twenty three percent cluster is being configured. So we need to wait for some time.
so here you can see our kubernetes cluster has been created successfully so currently here you can see it is up and running so if you want to see all the details of this kubernetes cluster here you can see the name of the kubernetes cluster is test kubernetes cluster entire we created under standard and more we created under standard and location type we created under zonal and control plane and default nodes are created under us central 1c and total size that means total nodes we created with the five nodes okay so uh, release channel we created under regnal channel and version it is created with this kubernetes version and uh, here you can see these are all the details of our kubernetes cluster okay so now let's select your nodes so here you can see uh, node name we have given default pool and status it is okay that means it is in a uh, ready state so uh, this is the version of our kubernetes node so currently it is created pi node so here you can see these are the five nodes okay so machine type we created at e2 medium so e2 medium comes with two cpus and four gb of memory so this is the image type okay so auto scaling is off so previously when we are going to create a kubernetes cluster we have disabled auto uh, auto scaler for our uh, kubernetes cluster okay so that's why it is showing off okay so now if you want to see this uh, five nodes so directly jump on to compute engine so here uh, nodes are nothing but uh, virtual machines on google cloud guys okay in background it will create five ec2 instances that means sorry five virtual machines on google cloud so these are the five virtual machines so these are acting as kubernetes nodes okay so now let's connect to this kubernetes cluster so directly select your details and directly select your connect so directly copy this uh, gcloud cli command to connect to this kubernetes cluster gcloud container cluster get credential so this is the cluster name test kubernetes cluster and a hyphen hyphen zone we created under us central 1c and a hyphen hyphen project this is my project id okay so here you can see rock loop so let me drop down this so here you can see my first project is this is the project id rock loop double four double nine one eight v zero okay so let me select here connect let me copy this and directly select here okay so let's come in here and let's select here cloud shell so i'm going to connect to this kubernetes cluster from cloud shell only okay and directly paste that command here directly select here enter directly select here authorize so successfully it is connected to our kubernetes cluster so let's clear the screen and now let's uh, list all the kubernetes nodes so now kubectl get nodes hyphen o white so it will display all the nodes of our kubernetes cluster so here you can see hyphen o white means it will display with all the details so let's uh, remove hyphen o white kubectl get nodes so total we created with uh, five nodes okay so these are the five nodes okay so now let's uh, deploy some pods and let's deploy a small nginx uh, nginx page using service type node port okay so first let's create a sample nginx pod so now kubectl so let's give some space okay kubectl run my pod so this is the pod name i am giving and a hyphen hyphen image is equal to nginx so this is the image i'm using and a hyphen hyphen port equal to 80 so my nginx is running on this port 80 so that's why i'm going to give 80 so let me select here enter now kubectl get pods so it will display all the pods so here you can see this is the pod we created which is my pod and currently it is in up and running okay so now if you want to describe this pod kubectl describe pod and directly give the pod name which is my pod okay so it will display all the details so here you can see successfully assigned for default namespace which is my pod and pulling image nginx and successfully pulled image nginx created container my pod and started container my pod okay successfully it is up and running now kubectl get pods so now if you want to see this pod yaml kubectl get pods get pod and directly give the pod name hyphen o yaml so it will display the yaml for this pod yaml of this pod so here you can see this is the yaml so if you want to store this all yaml format in a file okay so let me clear this ls okay currently we don't have any files okay kubectl get pods 
So I want to store this pod YAML in a file. So kubectl get pods my pod hyphen o YAML and I want to store this YAML in pod one dot YAML and ls so here you can see a file has been created now cat pod one dot ml so here you can see all the pod ml has been stored to this file so if you want to modify this file and if you want to redeploy this letter you can modify this file and you can redeploy it later okay so now let me clear the screen kubectl get pods now it will display this pod so if you want to see this pod logs kubectl logs my pod okay so it will display this pod logs okay here you can see it was displaying this pod logs so if you want to display live logs of this pod now kubectl logs hyphen f my pod so it will display live logs guys okay so if you provide here hyphen f it will display live logs of this pod okay. so now let me clear this so now this is the uh, way to create a pod now kubectl get pods so now let's expose this pod using service type notebook okay so if not only notebook you can deploy it using a service type load balancer also then if you provide a service type as load balancer by default in google cloud it will create a load balancer for you a network load balancer will be created okay in background so now let's expose this my pod okay kubectl expose pod so I want to expose this pod, which is my pod. Okay, my pod and hyphen hyphen. We need to give the service type. So I want to expose this pod using node port service and hyphen hyphen port. So my pod is listening on port 80 and hyphen hyphen name equal to my service. So let's give the name like this. So first it will create a service with name my service and it will create with type node port and currently my pod is exposing to port 80 and this is the pod name I'm going to expose. Okay. At least right here enter. Exposed. Okay. So now kubectl get services. So here you can see my service has been created with uh, type node port. So this is the IP. So it is exposing to 32616 okay this is the node port so using this node port we need to expose uh, we can see our application so now let me clear the screen kubectl get pods hyphen o y so it will display in detailed information so okay so on this node it is created so let me clear this so here you can see on this node it is created okay so now kubectl get nodes hyphen o y so at last you can see JDCR. So JDCR. Okay. On this node it is created. So I'm going to copy this external IP. And I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to paste it here. And we need to provide node port. So let's see the node port. Uh, directly hit kubectl get service. It will display the node port. 32616. Okay. Let me copy this. Let me come here and let me paste it here. So let's hit HTTP colon slash slash node port, uh, sorry, uh, node IP with node port and directly select here enter. So here you can see welcome to Nginx. So this is how you can deploy sample uh, pods. Okay. So and yes, that's it for today's video. So in this video, mostly I explained you about how to create a Kubernetes cluster on Google Cloud. Okay. So now let's delete this everything. So let's come here to CTL get services. So now let's directly delete this service kubectl delete service. I want to delete this my service. So service has been deleted. So when I refresh this, it will not work now. Okay. So let me refresh this. So let me copy this. Let me close this here. Let me open incognito window. Let me paste it here. Enter. So here it will not work guys. Why? Because means here you can see it is not working. So why? Because means we deleted this uh, service, my service. So again, when I hit here, kubectl get services, it will not display any of the services. Okay. Sorry. Let's remove this.
QCTL get service only service okay sorry sorry QCTL I am giving delete so we need to give QCTL get service okay so here you can see we have only the default service which is Kubernetes service okay so now if you want to delete your pod QCTL get pods QCTL delete pod and my pod now QCTL get pods sorry QCTL get pods so we don't have any pods so I forgot to explain you one thing so if you want to enter into this pod so let me clear that one also guys QCTL run my pod so this is the pod name and hyphen hyphen image equal to nginx and hyphen hyphen port equal to 80 so now a pod has been created QCTL get pods so a pod has been created so now if you want to enter into this pod okay QCTL exec hyphen it you need to give the pod name hyphen hyphen slash bin slash bash so here you can see currently we are in inside of the pod so here if you want to update this pod apt update hyphen y it will update this pod and here uh, we need to do apt update hyphen y okay so it will update this pod okay so this is how you can enter into this pod okay so let's clear so if you want to come out from this pod you can directly select here control d so it will come out from this pod so now kubectl get pods so this is how you can enter into this pod so now let's directly delete this pod let's clear the screen kubectl delete pod and my pod so you can directly delete this pod now kubectl get all sorry kubectl get all so we have only the default service of this kubernetes okay so and yes that's it for today's video so in this video mostly i explained you how to create a kubernetes uh, cluster on google cloud with five nodes okay so if you want to see that notes kubectl get notes hyphen go white so it will display with in detailed information so here you can see these are the five nodes currently it is up and running and it is in ready state okay and yes that's it for today's video now i will explain you how to delete this kubernetes cluster so after completing uh, your practice and after completing your labs try to delete each and everything guys why because google cloud will charge some of the amount from you okay so directly open this uh, kubernetes cluster and directly select here delete and directly copy this name of our kubernetes cluster I'm going to copy up to test Kubernetes cluster, copy this, paste it here and delete. So let's wait. Let's close this cloud shell. Let's come here and let's refresh this. Let's open this. So currently here you can see deleting the cluster. Okay. So let's go back. And let's select this so here you can see deleting kubernetes engine okay so now it takes again uh, 5 to 10 minutes to delete this kubernetes cluster guys okay and yes that's it for today's video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and see you in the next video and bye